10 Reasons Why Apple Is So Expensive Apple has the power to change the world. Let's talk about why are Apple products so expensive. Number 10. The Software and Materials Factor Some would argue that Apple products are designed with groundbreaking technology that simply costs more to build, which is true. However, that's only a part of the story. According to teardown engineers at IHS Market, the 64GB version of the iPhone X costs Apple $370 in materials and has a starting price of $999. So there's more going on here than just costing materials. You also have to take into account the research and development factor. Apple spends tons of money coming up with innovative products and it isn't cheap. Engineers, designers, testers, marketing teams, and more contribute to these high costs. Then there's the software. When it comes to Apple computers, you might be paying for things you don't need. For example, a Mac comes loaded with tons of software that has been developed by Apple that you might never use. But it's still factored into the retail price of the machine, which is different than most Windows computers where you can choose to add different software like Microsoft Office. If you buy a basic Windows machine without all the extra software, you can get it pretty cheap. Number nine, consumers willing to pay for reputation. If you're an Apple fan, you know there's an entire ecosystem that comes with its products. Everything works together. For example, you can visit a friend's home and enter their Wi-Fi password on your iPhone. Later, if you return with a new iPad, their password automatically transfers from your iPhone. It's pretty cool, right? Also, if you buy apps or music through iTunes, they work with all of your Apple products. You won't need to pay for the same thing twice for different gadgets. There's also the idea that Apple products are higher quality and safer than other brands. And Apple stands by their products with great customer support. Whenever you have a problem with a gadget, take it to an Apple store, and one of their geniuses is there to help. If the problem is a manufacturing defect, most likely they will fix it or replace it for free or a discounted rate. Number 8. Customer loyalty is everything. While the Apple logo in today's world has become a symbol of well-to-do, it goes much deeper than that. The logo of any company is a representation of the years of work put into building it, including its products, reach, and more importantly, customer loyalty. They have built a quality and consistent product lineup and a very respectable name and a solid consumer base. Besides products, what of all those today at Apple events and workshops at iconic Apple stores go a long way to ensure customer loyalty? And let's not forget how long lasting their products are. Number 7. High-End Products Another reason why Apple products are pricey is the obvious one. Apple products are premium products. The MacBook, for instance, boasts a level of build quality you just can't find anywhere else. The iPhones as well, if you're willing to admit it. As to why iPhones, for instance, are getting more expensive, it's also pretty obvious. As Gruber pointed out, it's easy to think they are only concerned with the bourgeois class who can dish out huge sums. However, that's not the case as Apple's attempts to enter into the mid-range market haven't gone all too well. Number 6. No Bloatware Samsung and others have gotten better at minimizing the pain for users by lumping all carrier bloatware into a single folder. But it's still just crap, taking up space on your phone. You won't find a single piece of carrier software preloaded on an iPhone, making for a clean, out-of-the-box experience. Apple does include some apps you might not want or need, like Apple Watch. But it has much more restraint than the other manufacturers when it comes to bundling its own stuff. And on iOS 12, at least you can disable built-in apps you don't need. Number 5. Apple Ecosystem There's a wide range of products the fruit company offers. And because all their software is proprietary, they are able to achieve an amazing cross-platform experience. Stay with us here. Features like Handoff allows you to begin taking notes on your iPhone and pick up your iPad or MacBook and continue right off. 
How about copying a particular text or link on your phone and being able to just hit paste on your Mac? AirDrop allows you to share files across all Apple devices seamlessly and without the need for third-party apps. Mac OS would soon support iOS apps. The Apple Watch integrates so well with the iPhone, sharing your cellular plan and allowing intuitive new interactions. There exists no other collection of products so tightly knit. Number 4. Actual Cost of Production Apple, being Apple, gets quite picky about component sourcing, which is why they produce as much of their components as they can. And they do it ever so well. The A12 chip, for instance, is just insanely powerful, at least a year ahead of the competition. But then, consider the funds sunk into researching these components. Apple spends huge amounts in R&D and manufacturing processes. The parts they can't produce, they don't cheap out on. Their specific demands would only lead to constraints in supply, further raising manufacturing costs. And that's just hardware. Apple also spends a significant amount in software development. iOS, macOS, and watchOS are proprietary platforms. Services like iCloud and Apple Music as well. Apple has to maintain and update all of these themselves. Unlike other smartphones, they can acquire Android OS for free from Google and then tweak it to their needs. Besides, Apple software is well known for its unrivaled security and smooth user experience. Someone has to pay for all that. Number three, family sharing. An Apple family that plays together, saves together. With family sharing on the iPhone, mom, dad, and the kids can share purchases from the App Store, iTunes, and iBooks with up to six people. You can still keep your own iTunes account too. When Junior wants to make a purchase, you receive an alert via the Ask to Buy feature so you can keep better tabs on what he's downloading and also prevent bill shock. Other family sharing features include shared photo albums, a shared calendar, and the ability to see where your kids are on a map at any time. Google doesn't offer easy family sharing on Android devices, but Android does benefit from a much better selection of the best parental control apps. Number two, first platform to develop apps. Moving to apps and app stores. The iPhone is the first platform where most of the developers launch their apps before anywhere else. And this, in turn, contributes to the high price of iPhones. We can take the instance of Instagram, which debuted on Apple Store two years earlier than Google Play Store. Same is the case with Snapchat. iPhones are now able to edit your live photos and enable you to send payments via messaging application along with Files app to manage and organize your files. Number 1. Smooth Coordination Between Devices It is worth highlighting the smooth coordination of iPhones with iPad and Mac devices. Synchronizing photos, sending text messages, and even answering the call is possible on your MacBook because the iPhone supports handoff. That makes it buttery smooth to start doing something on your iPhone and continue doing it on iPad or MacBook. When it comes to technology and devices, the warranty is the big question and a factor that affects our choice. The iPhone comes with the additional warranty of two years for accidental damage, which is what we knew with Apple Care Plus. It is a paid service by Apple, and that's why Apple iPhones are expensive. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.